Hey, April here. Um, today we are going to be talking about lips, um, specifically lips, red lips on mm -hmm. more mature skin. Tips and tricks that, to get that flawless look, um, ways to help keep the lipstick from feathering, because um, those of us that are aging know that that happens. Mm -hmm. The lipstick likes to feather and look like we don't know how to put lipstick on. So we're gonna walk through and um, go through an application and talk about what we do. So first of all, um, we wanna hydrate the lips. So we wanna prep the lips just like we would prep skin when we do makeup. So we're gonna take some lip balm and apply that. Especially now that it's so dang cold and everything's so dry. Always have your lip balm. A little trick with um, prepping the lips as well, um, a good rule of thumb is like when you're prepping your skin, um, put some lip balm on your lips, that way it has time to soak in um, and just really hydrate everything and then you'll find that the everything else goes on that much more smooth. So next we're gonna go ahead and grab a Jane Ardell pencil in crimson, so a very pretty red color here. Lip liner is going to be key for helping to stop the feathering of the lipstick as well. It's going to, one, line the lips and make the lipstick application that much easier. It's also going to provide a barrier um, to stop the lipstick from going into those little fine lines that we have around the lips. So we are going to carefully line the lips and with um, more mature skin, I want to avoid over drawing the lips as well. Uh, I want to keep it right along the lip line because again, over drying is going to make it look more messy. You know, like the lipstick and the lip liner is feathering. And I will fill in her lips with the lip liner. Because again, it's going to help keep everything in place. If you ever have issues with applying your lip liner, um, using short little strokes will help instead of trying to draw one straight line, you will find that it's easier to keep it nice and even. If you just be easy on yourself and do little tiny strokes. Again, filling in the lip. So now, we have our beautiful red here. Another little tip for red lipstick. A lot of people believe that they can't wear red lipstick, but I'm telling you that you can. Anybody can wear red. Um, if you want your teeth to appear whiter, get a blue-based red lipstick and your teeth will look really bright. Uh, I feel like it also just works really well with everybody's skin tone. All right, so here we go. So if you have a fun date planned, whether it's with your significant other or yourself, or maybe even your cat, <laughs> put on that red lipstick. <laughs> Take your time when you're applying your red lips too. Red lipstick is less forgiving when you make mistakes. So it's gonna take a little bit longer. Be easy on yourself. Take your time. Q-tips are your friend as well. It helps clean up any mistakes that you might make. Next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little bit of a lip gloss and just put it over the middle of her lips. This will also help with kind of the lips appearing more full or even more hydrated. So I'm just gonna place it carefully the center of the lips. Being really careful not to go too close to the edge because lip gloss has a tendency to feather a lot more easily because it's more hydrating and it moves out. So we just wanna be careful not to take it out too far. There we go. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Yes, I love it. Cool. Let me get some pictures too. Okay.